Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, lesson learned today. Uh, don't get close to the mob mashers when working on them. Why am I transparent? What's going on here? Uh, ghostly shape. Oh, okay. So there is some kind of death mod here. Um, <laughs> I was just working on a thing here and, uh, well, <laughs> I got killed. I have a gravestone here. All right, and yeah, it restores everything in my inventory. Except I got a bunch of new stuff. What's this? Uh, we're going to look at that in a minute. I just got a little bit too close to the mob mashers while they were working. I was just picking out a thing from here because I'm working on a thing here. Hi, I'm Borkon. Glad to have you here. Welcome back to the cave factory. And, and yeah, uh, we're going to be working on a lot of machines today. Machines that are for oh, basically transforming some of the resources we're getting into something more useful. And uh, yeah, the first thing I'm working on right now that I was just about to do a different version than I did previously was this thing. Uh, let me just connect things because I think this should be simple enough. There. Oh, it shouldn't connect there. So let's get the wrench. And uh, uh, and it's annoying to work here because the, the, the item sucker here keeps sucking items out. So I, I keep uh, squeezing in here to get everything from that, that absorption, the hopper, I guess it's called. Right, I think uh, I do this. Yes, that's the correct way of doing it. And we have finished our first machine. We are making magma balls. Magma. No, magma cream. Magma balls. Slime balls. Like, why aren't they called magma balls when slime balls are slime balls? Anyway, yes, that's what we're making here. We are just making magma cream here. And uh, the way we set this up is, like, I think I mentioned in the previous episode, I will just do this. Put this as a filter. I didn't actually have to do that. Let, let's remove it as a filter. I can do just import contents as filter. Set it to be an allow list rather than an ignore list and just set the priority so that whenever we have any spare magma cream, we will just insert it into this adjustable crate. On the other hand, this adjustable crate will probably usually be full because of this. But uh, yeah, so now we're getting magma cream and the plan is to also make this into magma blocks and then obsidian so that we have a continuous supply of obsidian. And uh, now I'm actually afraid of getting too close to these things. I, I, sh I shouldn't be. Why, why is it on anyway? There's no reason for this to be on. There we go. Actually, there is a good reason for this to be on. Because uh, just turn on the blaze spawner and we'll be getting blazes turning into magma cream. Although I have 16 stacks of this stuff. And uh, this gives me free magma cream for every molten core. So this will definitely fill up very quickly. So we probably don't need this, especially since it's noisy. Let's get some experience into me. How did I get 50 levels after just dying? Interesting. Anyway, yeah, let's set up the magma block crafter and the obsidian maker as well. I don't know if I should do it in here, though. Uh, maybe. M maybe I can do it in here. Uh, uh, the, these are a little bit... Everything in here is a little bit awkward, but yeah, l let's try to work around it. And uh, it worked. Well, uh, I could fit everything. I had to rearrange the chests here and the basin and the casting table. And they are kind of not accessible anymore. I think I need to move this. Actually, let let's just move that lantern immediately before... I changed my mind. Can I just move it one block up? I think uh, that will work. Let's see. Uh, no dark spots. Let's press F7 twice just to make sure that it's on. But I think I always have it on. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I move stuff around here. It's uh, very awkward. I probably uh, need to do something about it. On the other hand, I'm not going to be filling up the lanterns that often. So it doesn't really matter. So what do we have here? First, we have the magma cream crafter here, just like before, right? It's just going into this adjustable crate. And then uh, this connects it to the storage system. And from the storage system, we are exporting the magma cream into this basin, where we have the magma block crafter. 
and uh, the magma blocks are uh, also added to the storage system through this adjustable crate and it's actually empty because all the magma blocks are going into this thing here, this adjustable crate, which waits until we have actually 16 of them. It dumps them out on this depot, which then gets washed by this fan that is blowing through water and that is creating obsidian. And the reason why I want to do 16 at a time, because otherwise, like I, in the beginning, I was doing one at a time with a completely different mechanism. And that basically was just slow uh, because if you're blowing a fan through water or lava or a campfire and there is a depot, only one item can be on the depot or one item stack. Uh, so by doing 16 at a time, we can pretty much keep, keep pace. Actually, this is now slower and I'm completely okay with that. Uh, the big thing we need to do now is to speed this up because it's slow, right? It is very slow. Like I, I have tons of these. I've been, I've been uh, running this farm for a while. I just recently turned it off, but we need to speed this up because, uh, well, that will allow us to just make everything here faster. By the way, I just need to check. Oh, we already have eight stacks of obsidian. That's good. I'm actually not going to make this oak drawer bigger uh, because I, I will just have it or maybe I will double the size here but like 32 stacks or 64 stacks is perfectly enough and I kind of want to build up a buffer of of uh, magma blocks as well so to make this thing faster we need adjustable speed controllers and uh, for the adjustable speed controllers mm, we need to do a very complicated crafter we need to make a precision mechanism crafter we are doing sequence assembly we need deployers on, well, it starts with a gold plate and then you just deploy things onto it. Uh, first a cog wheel, then a large cog wheel, and then an iron nugget. And then you have to repeat it five times. And it's kind of pointless to do it like one long line of, uh, or maybe it's not. No, it is pointless to do a, one long line. Instead, it's much easier to do some mechanism that is going to take the output at the end of a conveyor belt and then decide that, oh, are we done? And have you finished the precision mechanism? Or are we partially done? And just send the item back into the beginning. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to send the item back, but I guess we'll figure it out. And I think I've got it. Well, I, this is this is the first step of uh, uh, many machines that we actually need to fit into this room, which might get a little bit cramped because I decided to make all these uh, little rooms uh, exactly the same size. They weren't earlier and, and that really, really annoyed me. So they are now all the same size. Right, uh, first test of this new setup, uh, because I have been moving things around. I'm adding uh, four gold ingots. The gold ingots comes out and it gets smashed by the, the, the mechanical press. It should move on. Now it will get a cogwheel deployed, a large cogwheel deployed, and iron nuggets, but we have to repeat this five times. So these tunnels filter the, the outcoming products, and if it's uh, partially finished, I don't remember what it was called, but it's, it's, it's a special item that comes out that is just partially finished, and we just shoot it with the ejector back here, and it ends up on the conveyor belt. And it doesn't seem to be a conflict between the gold and the, 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 whatever they are called. Oh, why did it? Some of them are not getting filtered correctly and I'm not exactly sure why. If we look here at precision mechanism and we look at this sequence here, right? Repeat five times and it says random salvage. And uh, is that what's causing some of them to end up in my hand? I'm not exactly sure. It's kind of very, very weird. Or maybe it's just the fact that we don't have a filter here. Maybe I need to add a filter here. But anyway, we're shooting them back. Um, and the completed one, which I just saw one and I missed it. Oh no. Come on. Did we we ran out of uh, iron nuggets. Yeah, this, this is the problem I'm, I'm dealing with right now. Uh, we need a way to refill the deployers here. I still don't have that, so I'm going to give it one. And that one failed. So that was the random salvage as well. That was a finished one. That was complete and it ends up here. Yes, I've done some testing. Not much actually, as you can see, this is not a lot of testing. So I think uh, the ones that fail end up here. But I think this one is actually a correct one. 
Uh, interesting. I'll have to investigate what's exactly happening. Maybe I need to add a filter in the tunnel here because the filters here, right? They only have one input, but if you have a tunnel like this and with multiple outputs connected, they should do filtering. But this one actually came out in the middle. Uh, so I'll add a filter here so it definitely rejects the incomplete precision mechanisms and also the, 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 the complete precision mechanisms. Actually, let, let's do that just right now uh, before I forget. So we should add this, add this, add this, and this should be a deny list, right? And that. Maybe this fixes the problem. And I can add this incomplete precision mechanism here. And yeah, okay, it will continue the sequence. So uh, yeah, it's probably just the bug with the tunnels or, or I didn't set up the tunnels correctly. Yeah. It's working just fine. Now I need to do mechanism like this, except a little bit simpler, uh, just so I can make the cogwheels and the large cogwheels automatically, because they can also be done by, by a deployer process like this. Although if they give random salvage, do they give random salvage? Let's see. Here we have the da, 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 da. Yeah, random salvage, 16% chance. I hate that. I don't like that. Oh, uh, maybe I will have to do something intelligent. Did it end up in my inventory again? Yeah, we got a golden sheet. But golden sheet is the starting product here. So maybe all the random salvage belongs to this category. And uh, I don't know. I don't know how this works. Maybe th there can be some, some different setup here. Or maybe I should just run this super fast with a lot of gold and see what kind of random salvage I get. Uh, oh, and I ran out of the cogs. Right. But yeah, uh, let's make the cogwheel uh, manufacturing processes now. So I've done some reading and the random salvage is, is really random. If I look at the wiki that documents this, uh, we can get golden sheets, we can get andesite alloys out of this, we can get cogwheels, shafts, uh, crushed gold ore for some reason, gold nuggets, iron ingots, clocks, like literally anything. So I set up this barrel and this import cable that will be just importing everything that comes into this barrel into the storage system. And um, I also connected this one, but this is not a import cable. It is a filtered link cable. So my idea here is, right, I'm going to fill up this adjustable crate. I can make it bigger later, by the way, but like for now, I'm, I'm just allowing one stack. And I will always have one stack of fully crafted precision mechanisms that are accessible through the storage system. And uh, here is an export cable that is exporting iron nuggets because for this one, we didn't need to do anything special. We already have iron nuggets in the storage system thanks to the compacting drawers. But for these two, well, I could actually, like I could set up the farms and set up belts. But I was thinking that since I'm using cogwheels and large cogwheels, uh, I kind of want the same setup as this one here uh, for them as well. And um, I will just import the cogwheels and uh, large cogwheels uh, with uh, the storage system. It is possible to, to set up belts here that I, just, I can just knock out this wall, right? I have another room prepared here if we actually want that. But uh, I'm not going to do that uh, because every single sequence assembly line like this one requires three outputs. And well, one, two, three, and that's it. I can fit one more into this room. And I don't want to knock out the ceiling because if we look here... This line of seared bricks, it's up there and it's awfully close to the next level where the next set of rooms are going to be. And uh, I, I might have gone a little bit overboard with the farms. <laughs> so uh, the first thing we need to start with uh, to get the cogwheels, right? We need andesite alloys. So I just automated andesite alloy here. It appears that this mechanical mixer is not rotating with enough speed. And the reason for this not rotating with enough speed is because uh, I have installed this, but I have slowed it down because I wanted to show you how fast we can get everything running. And yes, the speed needs to be negative because uh, I, it's just the correct direction of rotation for all the machines. Um, unfortunately, I can't even make it run full speed because we run out of power, but this is the maximum we can run. Uh, but let's go to this one because I showed you this recently 
Now we can see how fast this thing is running. Bam, bam. It's actually quite funny. So this one blinks four times for free hits like that because this generates only three balls and uh, this one needs four. Uh, I actually even had to install speed upgrades into this thing so it could keep up. Anyway, yeah, we, we have speed. And, and the speed, by the way, also uh, with... Oh, I don't even see if it's spinning in the right direction, but I think it is. Just watch the blazes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, they keep pushing each other. It's, it's awesome. Anyway, so what we're doing here, right? Oh, wrong room. Uh, this is the correct room. Uh, we are mixing andesite alloy. Nothing very exciting here. Same setup as usual. We just uh, dump things into the basin with an export cable for, for my storage network and then we just connect the outputs which is here um, to my storage network with a filtered link cable uh, the reason why these aren't full is because uh, i have run out of andesites well i i haven't actually run out of andesites if we look in the, the dank here like i have tons of uh, andesite cobblestone yeah just like but but ore processing is a next project or processing is not something that we're gonna have time for today, but uh, probably next episode I will do ore processing because it needs to be done. It won't be too complicated, I hope. Anyway, we're making andesite alloy because we need that. Um, I used one of the precision mechanisms to make uh, this thing, but I also used a precision mechanism from like just from the test runs to make the mechanical arm. This is the first time I built one of these and these are amazing. Because this one is helping me with wood and buttons. Because we need buttons to make cogwheels and we also need planks to make cogwheels. So to begin with planks, uh, the usual adjustable crate where we dump a lot of oak logs. And then it goes through two mechanical saws, which very much annoy me because they spin clockwise. But that means that the logs should be moving in that direction, but they're moving in the other direction. I don't know. It, it, it's weird. Uh, this confused me. But uh, these logs move here. But of course, they are not moving now because the output here is full. And uh, the wonderful thing about this is that one log gives us six planks instead of four. So we are actually gaining planks here rather than crafting manually. So it, it, it's a good mechanism. And uh, the planks end up on this depot here. And this depot is being targeted by that mechanical arm, which picks up the planks and puts them here into the autocrafter, which then... No, not the out. I keep calling them autocrafter. They're the mechanical crafter. The mechanical crafter uh, makes buttons. And we can see the whole thing in uh, action. I can just raise the storage space here and yeah. We can see the arm doing its job. It's, it's super fast because it's being powered quite, quite a lot. And just picks up the planks from here and dumps them in there. And it's just point, 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 point. I kind of wanted to use this instead of using just a silly um, item pipe here. I, I probably like for the, the magma cream and, and magma blocks and, and obsidian farm, I should have used mechanical arms here as well. But then I didn't actually have the precision mechanisms for it, so I couldn't. But yeah. So we're doing this. And uh, you can see the sawing going on. Can you? No? Is it that fast? Let me just uh, increase the storage space here by a little bit. Yeah. It's that fast, like we, we are creating the planks crazy fast. So we're getting buttons, we have planks and we have andesite alloy. So that is the raw materials. And now we can get into this room, which is a complete and utter mess. And uh, I have figured out a better way rather than using an ejector to shoot the semi-finished uh, materials for crafting, like in, in the, the, the processing we're doing here, uh, I, I'm using a mechanical arm instead because the mechanical arm can be intelligent. So this, this mechanical arm here is targeting this funnel and this funnel and this funnel. So this is where the cogwheels go when they're finished. 
this is where they are partially finished, whatever that's called. Uh, this is called incomplete cogwheel. I shouldn't have done that, apparently. Or maybe I should, I don't know. I shouldn't have done that because it, it was putting cogwheels in there. Uh, that's, that's my fault. Uh, let's, let's increase the space here. Why can't I do that? Oh, let's put it there. Right, and now we can see the mechanical arm doing its job. So the partially finished uh, materials go into this funnel, onto this barrel, and then this barrel spits them out with this funnel here. Um, under this deployer, oh, this is so hard to see, and I can't jump in there because this saw will kill me. Uh, this saw is not enabled yet because these, this is uh, where the large cogwheels are going to be made. I just stopped now so that I can show you this while I'm still able to move around here. I love the mechanical arms. They, they are amazing, and I'm going to use them a lot more. But yeah, uh, the mechanical arm is picking up things from these depot, and if it's a cogwheel, it ends up in that funnel. If it's a partial incomplete cogwheel, it ends up in this funnel and back on under this deployer. And if it's whatever else, salvage ends up in the barrel there through that funnel. Also, uh, the mechanical arm has another job, and it's actually putting the cogwheels into this funnel, which is for the precision mechanism crafter. But there is also another feature that wasn't a problem when this was running slower, but now that I have installed the speed controller, uh, this has become a problem. So, so this is the andesite alloy that starts the process for creating the uh, cogwheels. Uh, the problem is that it was shooting them out so fast that the incomplete cogwheels that ended up in the barrel here never had a chance to end up on the belt uh, because the andesite alloy was coming out too fast. So as long as there is anything in this barrel, we're getting a signal from this comparator and it is powering this funnel which disables it. So that's working. And I need to probably do the same thing for the precision mechanism crafter because, well, I, and it should be possible to just move this barrel over by one block and, and, and add the exact same mechanism. Uh, this will unfortunately have the side effect that this barrel will power both this funnel and that one, and that might not be the best thing to do. I'm not sure. I'll, I'll have to think if, if that is a problem. It probably is. Oh no, I don't know how to power that thing then. Can I put... I Maybe, maybe I can put the barrel on the other side, but then we will actually have to redesign this to be using a mechanical arm instead of the ejector. Oh, might, might, might be actually a good idea to do that anyway. But yeah, so now I'm just gonna make the large cogwheels and we will have a full end-to-end -end precision mechanism crafting system. I'm no longer calling it a machine or a factory, it's becoming a system. Right, so this is almost done. I did convert uh, the precision mechanism crafter to a mechanical arm uh, because I had to put the barrel on this side and it seems to be working. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure, so it's good enough. Now, I just need to place... Ow, 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 ow! That saw almost killed me. Um, I need to place this arm as the last thing. So crouch and right-click this and it will deposit there. That's good. This is the incomplete large cogwheel funnel, so we need to also deposit here. Uh, don't get killed. We need to deposit here, which are our completed large cogwheels. Um, just, just so we can have them for uh, usage later, like in the storage system. This will be the whatever else is left, because I set up this filter to reject... Well, it was already rejecting the small cogwheel materials, but it's now also rejecting the large cogwheels and large cogwheels, the, the incomplete large cogwheels. And now this will be the source. Yeah, we're taking the items from the depot and that's it. Yes, it seems to be working. <laughs> uh, and it stopped. Why don't we get new materials from uh, that funnel? Oh no, what 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 stupidity did I do this time? Uh, it is set up correctly. Oh, we... No, we didn't. Oh, it is... The comparator is on. Oh, uh, I forgot. <laughs> yes, okay. I just forgot one component. 
and it is the funnel let's uh, give it one funnel here can i place it that far yes but it is facing the wrong way i always forget if i should crouch or not crouch when placing the funnel so now yes 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 seems to be working those are large cogwheels we're actually getting multiple cogwheels at the same time i think six that looks like six yeah awesome Yes, we have precision mechanism making. We have everything. Look at the precision mechanism being made. Yay! All right, so there's just one last thing I need to do to make this whole thing complete. And it is to get one gold, which is literally the last slot in my inventory that is free. I need this export cable to export gold ingots here. Yes, it is all working everything is being made the way it should be why is it so slow though sometimes oh this this arm this arm is not going particularly fast well it's going with the same speed as all the other arms maybe it doesn't have more targets no it doesn't have more targets and this thing what are you you are large cog, cog wheels why did you run out of materials? Ah, no! I don't know what's going on. I mean, the large... Oh, the large cogwheel thing. Oh, no! One of the salvage items from the large cogwheel production line is a small cogwheel, but this thing rejects small cogwheels. Ah, so close. We were very close to, to, to getting this right, but I think I can get it right anyway. Um, and I can get it right by basically almost cheating. Kill that mechanical arm. Let's get that mechanical arm. So now, this is your destination. This is your destination. And this is your destination as well. Because why can't we just dump the small coke wheels here, right? It's no big deal. And I think it's the same problem with this mechanical arm. This mechanical arm can get large coke wheels as, as salvage. So yeah, I'll just set it up for that as well. So this is the destination. This is the destination. And this is your source. Nope, nothing. All right, uh, I'll, I'll figure it out. It's a small bug. Uh, I might just set up a separate box for, for the salvage from, from this one. Because why not? Yeah, I just had to set up a separate salvage barrel for this arm. I have no idea why. It just refused to insert things into this funnel. I have no idea why. But yeah, we have a full system for creating precision mechanisms and cogwheels as a side effect. I actually need to connect them to the storage system because I just noticed I haven't done that yet. But well, yes, just put down some cables. Easy enough. Oh... This is such a relief. Now I just want to automate some other things that are annoying to craft. Well, this is actually, this isn't even annoying to craft. This is impossible to craft. There are some things that are annoying to craft in the create mod, and, and I will try to set up automation for them as well. All right, and I think this will be the last machine for today. Oh yeah, it is working just fine. So what we're making here is, well, the end product are the electron tubes because they are a little bit of a pain to make. And yeah, we have a mechanical crafter for torches and we have a mixer right here that makes the rose quartz. And we have uh, the deployer here that polishes the rose quartz into polished rose quartz, I think it's called, right? Uh, let, let's just verify that I'm not lying to you, electron tube. So there is a torch here, that's that crafter, obviously, and uh, the rose quartz is being polished by sandpaper. I actually found that the Creates Crafts and Additions mod has diamond grit sandpaper. It's not infinite, uh, but I think the normal sandpaper has 8 uses and this has 1024 or 1000 something, more than a thousand, which is... Uh, I, I'm not going to auto-craft this because I don't want to end up with all my diamonds being destroyed because I, I did something stupid. So uh, whenever this one runs out, I will probably just add maybe a hopper and, 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 and a chest above and that's it. 
this should last me a lifetime anyway. We're not using that many of these. The, and the rose quartz is being made by the mixer up here. Uh, simple. I also added another uh, autocrafter here. No, no huge deal. Uh, but we are making shafts. Because apparently sending andesite alloy through a saw uh, makes better yield for shafts than, than crafting it manually. So yeah, I think... Uh, is this everything? No, I, I will probably remember a lot of other things. Oh, I, I, I just remember one thing that I definitely need to add. And it is uh, iron sheets because I keep using a lot of iron sheets. And it would be just useful to, to have a machine that, that keeps me permanently stocked. But uh, I'll, I'll do that just between the episodes because uh, we're done for today. We got a lot of stuff done, especially this thing. I'm very, very happy about the precision mechanisms. Let's just pick one up. Uh, you know what's going to happen. And I'm very, very happy that I discovered the mechanical arms because they are awesome. So thanks a lot for watching and have a very precise mechanism. Bye.